Not even a skeleton service on Southern Rail for day one of the driver's strike. The company cancelled all its 2,242 trains and left them parked up in the sidings, leaving commuters to fume at the pickets outside the stations. In, in many ways, we don't know what's going on. Of course. Because it's been for months and months. Yeah. And, you know, you've got to work and see how hard it is when you have the very hard working day oh, yeah. and you're trying to go home and you don't know at what time you're going to go yeah, home. Well, and next day you yeah. go to work and you bring work and say, oh, I'm late, I'm late. How much patience those people have to have? Doesn't anybody understand? Emma Green used to be a Southern Rail commuter from her home in Littlehampton in Sussex to her job as a commercial lawyer in London. But not anymore. As we chatted in her kitchen, she explained that as a diabetic with an eight-year-old son, her health and family life couldn't cope with Southern's appalling service. Um, my employer at the time had waited about three months for me to start because I had a long notice period. And within three weeks, I had to resign and say that I couldn't do it because it, over that three-week period, it was nearly every day that there was a delay. I looked at it and I thought, no, long, long term, I can't handle this. My son can't handle this. My family members that look after my son until I get home, they can't handle it. And it was just something I had to put an end to very quickly. And for Emma's young son, Harry, it often meant days without seeing his mum. I'd end up saying good, good night to him on the train and most, most days crying when I got off the phone because it's devastating not to be able to see your son because I often wasn't seeing him in the morning either. The problems on Southern Rail are now seen as so bad and have dragged on for so long that in some commuter towns it's affecting other businesses. Estate agent Turner Reynolds says it's not just a Southern Rail season ticket that can cost you thousands. If we had a train service which was very, very good like it should be and what people pay for, uh, it would make property much more easier to sell. Property by the train station, um, which has always sold very quickly, would start to sell very quickly again. The irony of all this is that for Southern Rail regulars, strikes are just part of the problem. Many say normal service is so erratic it's impossible to predict whether you'll get to work and back on time any day of the week, strike or not. David Bowden, Sky News in Littlehampton.